right guys, welcome to my video. Uh, this is my new DSLR shoulder rig which I've just finished building. Um, there are a few final adjustments I still need to make to it but basically it's finished. Uh, so this rig is made of uh, basically just two elements, uh, copper piping 15mm and these things here which are called Munson rings. Um, and I'll give you a close-up look at these in just a sec. But um, basically what these rings do, in they're all uh, plumbing supplies, what these rings do is hold the piping to the wall um, in normal circumstances. So they're just designed to literally clamp onto this pipe, which is great for these to build this rig, because they will clamp tightly to the copper piping. Um, the only difference is I've combined them together in the middle, you normally wouldn't do that. So let me give you a look at this rig uh, from another angle and as you can see there's a, it's basically a rod system just like you would get with a red rod rig or you know a standard DSLR rig. Um, this is 15mm copper piping as I said, it's not 60mm uh, apart. Now that is the standard width of this piping uh, in the DSLR rig. Unfortunately, I had to base the whole design around these clamps, and the only ones that I could find were a bit more than that, so it's a, the rods are a bit further apart. But if you could find some clamps that were the right size, I mean, there's, these, there's hundreds of different types of these uh, Munson rings. Uh, if you could find some of those, you could easily make one which was standard uh, size. You can see here at the back, I have a counterweight. These are just standard... Uh, uh, gym weights, which I've taken off my barbells. I never used them anyway. Uh, and to secure these on the back, I was I was worried about the fact that these could drop off the back if they were just some you know uh, fastened in a different way. So what I've done is I've uh, put a bolt. I've drilled a hole through this copper piping. That's an eight millimeter bolt, very strong, uh, and that goes right the way through. You can see there. Uh, and I've just put the uh, gym weights along with a washer on that bolt so that's very secure and that counterbalances the DSLR rig. Now the, I'll just show you quickly, this is the mount where the camera goes and um, um, this is really only a temporary mount, I'm going to find another way of doing it, I'm not really happy with this um, so again yeah, it's just a temporary set up but I, I can still mount something on it at the moment. This is not actually a video capable camera but I'll just show you anyway what it looks like. When I'm That's on. it, the camera is mounted. I should take this off really. And then if this was a, a 5D Mark II or a Nikon with a video capability this would be ready to rock. You see that's pretty strongly on there. Maybe it's tightening a bit. Have it. I'm going to give you some close-ups of the individual features of this, just so if you want to make your own, you can have a go. Okay, this is uh, the Munson ring that I mentioned earlier, and here's your close-up. I'm just going to turn this to camera so you can see what it's made of. There's a top bit and a bottom bit, and these just screw together like this, and it's very important for this design that you get because you can get these months and rings that are all one piece. You must get the ones that have a top bit which screw into the bottom bit and I'll explain why that is later. So let me just do this. That's it, that's nice and tight. So that's a months and ring and the whole basis of this design is clamping, not clamping, uh, screwing two of these months and rings together like so and screw this together. Okay, and you've got to make sure this is nice and tight. So get your screwdriver like this. Get a little uh, spanner of the right size. It helps to buy a spanner like this when you're making this rig as well. Because there's so many of these little um, nuts and bolts you need to tighten that it just makes it so much easier if you've got a spanner of the right, exactly the right size. So that is your basic component 
for this rig. As you can see, let's make sure that's in shot. Uh, so your copper piping is going to go through here. This is what's going to brace your copper piping. And typically, on a set of rods, you want at least two of these, maybe even three, to secure the copper piping so it doesn't wobble about. So these are three different components of this rig. Uh, on the right is the shoulder rest here, um, and the weights. This is the back of the rig. And then in the middle, sorry about the creaking, this is a cheap tripod. Uh, this is the bit that mounts uh, the camera, and that fits into these two uh, Munson rings here. That screws together. And then this bit is obviously the uh, handles, and that's just foam, very cheap foam. I think it's to insulate pipes. Um, it was about 80 pence for a meter of that. And I've also used this foam here inside the shoulder rest. I've just wrapped some tape around it to protect it. Um, and that's, uh, that makes a really good soft shoulder rest. Okay, here is a closer look at the rear section of the rig. Uh, you can see the weights on the back. Um, in the middle I have the shoulder rest, which was probably the hardest bit to make. And then at the front I have these, I have to show you an angle on these, two bits which offset the camera mounting section of the rig. Uh, just try and get okay, out. here's how to assemble the shoulder part of the rig. Um, this is probably the most difficult part of the rig to do, so it's going to take me a fair while. I'll obviously fast forward through the boring bits. Um, but I'll just run you through what you need here. Um, for the weights at the back, you've got uh, this is an 8mm bolt, and I think it's 10 centimeters long. Um, you've got two washers here, which obviously fit that two nuts and another small washer. These weights, they're just uh, half half a kilogram standard gym weights with a with a hole in the middle. If the hole was a bit smaller it would be better but you know that's almost impossible to find. Um, this copper piping I've cut that with a jigsaw uh, to 32 centimeters and I've just drilled two holes in it just going straight through and that's with an eight millimeter drill bit just going straight through and that's to take this bolt later on. Uh, for the shoulder piece, as I said, this was the hardest bit to make. Uh, I've just got two of these Munson things, Munson rings that have been joined together. Um, and I've cut out this wood, and I did this again with a jigsaw. You can't see because the wood is covered with foam. But um, I've cut out a piece of wood, which is basically this shape. And the Munson rings go through a hole which I've drilled with this same drill bit I used for that. So it's just an 8mm drill bit, uh, which I drilled through the wood, and that holds this um, all together. Uh, and I covered the wood, uh, the shoulder piece wood, with uh, foam, which is the same foam I've used for the handlebars, or the grips, the hand grips on the rig. And finally, I've just got another two of these uh, Munson rings which have been joined together. So I'm going to show you how to put this together now.